what's good y'all um i hope y'all are doing good um i'm back with another video and today we're gonna be doing something different instead of making melodies or beats you know i'm gonna teach y'all how to mix your samples since that was requested from the last post i had uh if you guys have any more video requests leave that down below in the comment section um but yeah we're gonna get right into it but right now i have this uh melody i'm gonna go ahead and play for y'all So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all our all our sounds, put in the mixer tracks. From there, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix one sound as as we go. Get around this one. Oh, this sounds way too loud. It's peaking. So I just go from these these. So the way I mix is with these knobs. I go by like the punchiness of the um of the melody, and then right here I go by the level. If I want to turn it down or up. A little EQ. Got some lows and the sounds that are peaking. And right there, that's perfect. I mean, to be honest, uh, the only reason why I'm taking like doing really surgical cuts is because this melody has like a lot of frequencies in it. It's kind of peaking a lot. Perfect. And some add some stereo separation to this. And basically, what stereo separation, if you guys don't know, is like making the um, sound wider. guys is is by ear i don't really go by like db so i always go by ear i think that's your best bet take this peaking sound out and like i said i don't really do like surgical cuts on all my melodies it's just perhaps just for this one it has like a lot of peaks in it and it's i'm dealing with like high frequency sounds I think I'm gonna throw like a whitener on it. Bro, last night I had posted on my Instagram, I had like six omnis, and it was the exact same melody that I'm working on right now. I went back to the file. <laughs> I felt gonna tell me, oh, this file is corrupted. Oh, this is a plugin that's uh, missing. I was like, bro, what? everything is real. <laughs> and I was so hot yesterday. idea is to like have everything have its own space don't have it like too cluttered up oh and also that thing guys um I always make sure that my uh, EQ is always on the bottom every time I put effects on it. Just because, for example, I added the reverb, right? So let's say there's like unnecessary reverb in the low end. The EQ is going to cut that off. So that's my rule of thumb. Always put the EQ under my effects. Open up just a little bit.
back to you. step is so i have everything mixed i have everything the way i want it you see we're not using too much um or, oh shit no no everything my eq's at the bottom oh um, yeah so like i said guys um not too much of effects oh and by the way guys all the sounds that are being used right now except for arcade is by my boy one shark boy he just dropped his omnisphere bank called underwater i'm gonna leave his instagram right here fire bank guys so go ahead go cop that support the boy and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna render these all out just to save some cpu and because i want like a cleaner um sample as well and while we're waiting guys uh we're gonna listen to my boy's uh new song that he just dropped Fire right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and leave his Instagram right here. Uh, my boy produced it. So, yeah, let me know also down below what you guys think about the song. I love her with no makeup. I hate her when we break up so often. She loves to get face fucked. That's a little secret, baby. You know that I'm honest. I got a fake thing in your phone. That's how you guys mix your samples slash how I mix my samples. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below in the comment section. And as well, don't forget to leave a like. I hope you're all having a good one and I'll catch you guys in the next one.